Okay, this is a video on my rain barrel setup. I've got two rain barrels, each with a capacity of about 60 gallons. Uh, so really usable is about 50 gallons because they don't fill all the way up. Uh, you can see that the one on the left is fed from the gutters. Water comes down into that, fills that one up. And then when it fills that one up, then it goes to the one on the right. After that one fills up, then it goes down and, and drains. And the idea is that these would be filled up uh, and then they will uh, feed my or water my plants on the bottom. So I'm going to have these set up next year. And the setup, I have four faucets. This was, I think, the most versatile setup because I'm able to connect these barrels and equalize them uh, whenever I want to. The one on the left, on the bottom, that feeds my bird bath. The one on the right is going to feed the, uh, the plants. On here, on the, the down, I've got a, a filter there. That black piece of uh, equipment is a filter. And then that goes into that box, which has a timer. And the timer set to go once every 24 hours in a, in a three minute duration. And that can be adjusted. There's lots of adjustments you can make as far as how much water and how often it waters. And then that goes down to this tubing setup. Uh, I'm using these uh, drippers, which works really get good for this low pressure system. These drippers uh, can be uh, screwed all the way down and, and they'll be in a closed position or they can be opened up so you can adjust how much water is coming out. Um, it's really nice. This system works good for a low pressure system, which, which is what mine is. Uh, I figured at this height over my plants I'm getting maximum about two and a half pounds per square inch which is very low pressure. Uh, your average household, uh, you know, the what comes out of your faucet is about 60 pounds per square inch. They also advertise you can buy a hose, which has, you know, multiple tiny little per per perforations. It's more of a flexible hose. And that's, that's uh, rated to work at 25 pounds per square inch. But 25 pounds per square inch is, is what I would consider more of a high pressure system. I tried to use that with these barrels and it just didn't work at all. There wasn't enough pressure to push the water through the hose, through those tiny little perforations. So I went um, eventually with this dripper setup and it's, it works perfect. So that's kind of my setup. You can see I've got planters. I'm going to do about 11 planters total next year and we'll see how it works. The, uh, there's screening on the top also. These barrels come with some vinyl screening uh, and when you, you can screw on uh, under the top. So I've got one layer that's under the top, then I've got another layer on top of that. So that's two layers of vinyl screening and then I've got this wood frame with metal screening on top of that. So I've got a triple layer of screening on the top to try to get you know as clean of clean water as, as possible coming into there. And then again, like I said over here, I have the, uh, the fourth filtration, which is this uh, filter right here, which is even finer. So uh, the idea is you, you want to, you don't want your system to get clogged up. And that's my setup. Okay, I thought I'd give you a little more information about the uh, the different hoses that are available. Um, so I put this piece up here just so you can kind of see it. It's it's basically a, a like almost like a rubber hose, and it's got a purple stripe on it, and it's called rain barrel soaker hose. And the idea is it's, it's got tiny, multiple, multiple, tiny little perforations. And when you uh, put the water into it, it's supposed to bead out and then give you a nice, even uh, watering. The problem is, is that this soaker hose only works if you have at least 25 pounds per square inch pressure. 
you will not get 25 pounds per square inch pressure with just a, a gravity feed rain barrel set up like this. Your rain barrels would have to be like 30 feet in the air to get that kind of pressure. So I do not recommend this rain barrel soaker hose for a low gravity system like this, a regular rain barrel system. You need at least 25 pounds per square inch. On a system like mine, max you're going to get is like two and a half pounds per square inch. Your regular, uh, your regular household pressure, uh, like at your faucets here, that's 60 pounds per square inch. Um, so they don't recommend that you use this soaker hose for that either because that's too much pressure. So this is a very limited usage for this uh, for this soaker hose. And again, what I did on mine eventually, I went with the uh, I went with the drippers. And this other hose right here is more of a hard plastic. It's still a little bit flexible, but it's not like rubber and it's not perforated. This comes down, and then I've got these drippers. And they, each of these drippers can be adjusted. Um, they can be uh, screwed all the way down, which totally shuts the water off, or they can be opened up. Um, so this is really the best setup for a low pressure system, in my opinion. Um, let's see these. Each one is individual, and you can get a punch. Uh, you can buy a punch and just punch holes in, in the in the uh, in the uh, hose wherever you want, and you just push these down in there. And this allows you maximum flexibility on how much and where you want the water to go. So when these are fully open, they're like little sprinkler heads. They're like little three, you know, the, the, the range is about three inches. You get a little uh, sprinkler head. So these, these are just amazingly good. So uh, I recommend these for the type of setup that I have.